Hello guys, this is Danny with Parte. So I just wanted to uh, do a quick video where I'm going to speak to you guys. It's about Mr. Berg, but uh, um, this is more to, to my audience. So one of the fanboys showed up today. Um, and I'm not saying that as I don't know what else to call you. I'm not going to call you by your name because we still have dialogue going. And I'm not going to throw you out there to the rest of the world that way. But let me just say one of his fans reached out trying to, uh, and I say a fan, it's got to be a friend too, because he said he works with him to try to help him how to show him how to operate his camera, um, which is concerning. Uh, I'll call you Mr. X. It's concerning Mr. X because here's a guy who's supposed to know how to create high technology and he can't even use his own f camera. So what Mr. X essentially said is that the reason that his stuff looks blue is not because of the silver metallic, that we're all wrong, all of us out there who do this are wrong, that it's because, and with his camera, he's got tungsten bulbs. So for you guys out there who, and yes, Mr. X, I know more than, like I said, you thought I did. Those are halogen bulbs that are up in the top. So if they're halogen, my guess is they're LED. Um, but let's, let's go with halogen. Um, so at the end of the day, it really doesn't describe why, uh, <laughs> an ambient light rejection screen would have halogen light coming all the way down it. Okay. That's not rejecting anything. So once again, you, you can't cover that with the camera, but let's just stick with your line of thought for a second, that it's the camera that's causing it to be a blue push because of a ton tungsten light. So what I did is I recorded this video, and this is this is the straight video. Right now I'm recording with my phone, and I'm going to show you. This is that was one image. Let's get to the second image. So there we go. There's your second image. You see the coloration there, right? Pay special attention, like right in here to that blue in here, because. I'll be showing you some stuff with that in just a minute to show what tungsten does. And let's talk about what tungsten doesn't do. Uh, so anyway, uh, that's the video. Now what I'm going to do is numero next. I'm going to go to my video. So here's my display using a tungsten lamp. And I'll show you that because it's going to shift the blues in here to some degree. There we go. So there's the image. I want you to watch some of the blues. They'll actually change from a purple to a blue. You notice, especially like right in that little section here, they were, they'll go there. It'll go deep blue and then it'll change again. And that's from the tungsten light. Now I've got it just in front of the screen, but in a minute I'm going to actually pick it up and I'm going to have it right by the phone so that it can affect the camera. Okay. See it. See that right there. See how it shifts from purple blue and purple it'll shift their colors but all those other colors are still there they're not all shifting to a to a complete total blue wash all right and a lot of the light that's actually hidden that's not actually hidden necessarily at the screen um, that's actually me holding the light like this up in front of the camera over to the side okay but you can see yes it does shift the blues but it ain't shifting all these other colors Okay, there you go. So, sorry, buddy, it doesn't hold water. <clears throat> so, I understand what halogen light does to a screen. I've tested my screens against all kinds of lighting. Um, so, Mr. X, you know, good try. Appreciate you trying to, to support your friend there. But it, it ain't going to get you there. And it doesn't answer all the other questions either. Like whenever he says that it's an OLED, you know, it'll turn, you know, his black screen will turn your screen into an OLED like. He'll say like sometimes, but a lot of times he'll just say to an OLED TV. Um, tell you what, next time you got your little violin girl up on your black screen, throw your hand between the projector, Mr. Bird, and your screen on one of the black spots. And let's see what kind of shadow that cast. And I'll tell you just how close to an OLED it actually is. Because you're not going to get anywhere. Folks, you can't get. I've got an OLED right there. You cannot get to an OLED with a projector. Don't believe me? Go out and ask other people. 
research AVS form, people who know. They'll, some folks will tell you, you could spend about $30,000 and get really close, but you're still not going to get to an OLED. Well, there's no way you're going to get there spending $300 for a quart of paint. It's just not going to happen, guys. It's just a black screen. That's all it is. It's a black screen, and it's not even a good black screen. But let me show you here, so I want you to see his version of the same thing. I always forget... I want to go too far. There we go. Hold on. Let's get it to the position. Oh, we're almost there. Hold on. There we go. Now look at that. No color delineation, hardly whatsoever. I mean, yeah, you get some of the brighter colors over here, but all that other color, it's all green and blue. Everything, even your clouds are blue. Everything is blue. Doesn't hold water, buddy. Sorry. Next. So, we'll stay right there for a second. You can see it. He's saying that's why he sold his 4K. But there you go. Dude, you can't even hardly make out that this is... Sorry. You can't even hardly make out that this is blue. Stands out as blue compared to everything else. Because everything is blue. Those two little halogen lamps up there. Here and here. That's not doing that. And especially when he's standing way back here, away from the screen. Okay? It's not impacting his camera. It's, it's just a load of crap. And, you know, so you boys, bring it on. Bring it on. Bring it to me. Um, but uh, here's, the, here's the end of the day. One, guys, I do this because I like doing it personally. You can't touch my business because I don't sell on YouTube. I'll sell people a screen if they ask for one, but I'm not pushing sales on YouTube. Just really not my forum. We deal with custom installations. We deal with commercial installations, and that's our bread and butter. I would have to sell almost 100 screens a month to even come close to the income that we make in our installation business. So you're not going to touch me. So that positions me in a manner where, you know, Miss Bird, I've, I've already sent out to you what I intend to do if this continues. So you can be civil and email me and we can have some dialogue. Be glad to do that. I'm a civil guy. Uh, you know, I've never been vulgar with you. Uh, I've been firm, but I've never been vulgar and I won't be. I'll be glad to have a conversation with you. But what I'm not going to do is sit back and watch you lie to folks, unsuspecting folks, and basically gouge them. I mean, that's, that's what you're doing here. And if I have to pull the trigger on what I've discussed with you, I'm going to do it. And I don't want to, I don't want to bring any kind of harm upon your family, uh, you know, financially or anything. But, you know, if, if, if that's what's going to happen here, then that's what's going to happen. So, you know, I'll leave the choice up to you and you can send as many of your little fanboys to me. They're not going to shake me. I don't rattle, Mr. Bird. You're not going to shake me. And these guys, you know, the one guy who reached out to me, I mean, dude, his video is basically him sitting in his basement or downstairs room, whatever that is. And he sounds like he just smoked a fatty. If that's your customer base, then, you know, sell to them. But don't impugn others out here that aren't even saying anything about you okay so your choice i'll leave it up to you have a good day